Hi guys, Kim Cash here. It's the end of the Christmas season and that always brings me um, kind of down, turns me uh, blue and I hate taking down the wreath and the Christmas tree and all the ornaments and the stockings and everything because I just love Christmas. And if you've watched any of my previous YouTube um, videos, you'll know that that's the truth. But I thought, what can I do so that I'm not so depressed about Christmas being over and the whole season? And I thought, I'll go out in the garden because I love the garden and it was a beautiful day. So I went out and got some, gathered up some um, greenery. I got some oregano, some rosemary, and I made a little wreath to go over my stove so I could get the sense of kind of spring with rosemary and oregano whenever there's steam over my stove. And then I also picked some beets because I saw that I had a whole crop of beets out there. And beets, if you didn't know, is the oh, greatest thing since Pokemon Go. And it's supposed to be a wonderful, it's like replacing kale for um, just the antioxidants and all the wonderful benefits to having beets. So I thought I'll make some beet leaf soup. And um, it's supposed to also be great for athletes, and I'll um, list a little bit of information about that down below. But I also thought, oh, I'll make the beet leaf soup, the wreath, and then some tea from the mint I have dried since the fall. And so if you're interested in any of these things, just keep watching. Thanks. So what I was going to do is I thought a little one for the kitchen. I might use one of my crochet hooks, I mean crochet um, hoops. And then I thought, well, I'm not sure about that because I might want to do some cross stitch. So I thought I'll just make a form. And I thought this cardboard might work really well because it's a sturdy cardboard. And I'm just going to work on it right now. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Just going around it with the green floral tape. So you can see it's just cardboard that I'm wrapping with tape. You could also um, paint it green or just start out with a piece of um, green cardboard. But this is just what I have around the house. So. Okay, so now I've made this wreath, and on the back, I just made a little um, wire hook, and I'm going to hang it up uh, above my stove so that when I'm cooking, the steam will set off the aromas of the oregano and the rosemary. So as soon as I'm done, I'll come back. Okay, so now I'm making my beet leaf soup, and I've got um, a bunch of vegetables here. These ones are just starting to turn... Um, overripe and so I want to use those. So I've got um, a couple cans of chicken stock and I've got a can of whole potatoes, baby potatoes left over from Christmas dinner and I'm going to put a carrot, my bell peppers, a little broccoli, some mushrooms and then my um, beet leaves that I've got to chop up so after I've chopped everything up, I'll come back and show you what I'm gonna do. I've got my kettle on the, I've got, um, it's like almost a Dutch oven. It's a cast iron, um, kind of like a cauldron. <laughs> and that's what I cook in mostly. I also have, I use a lot of cast iron just because I think it's really healthy to cook with cast iron rather than, um, I don't use aluminum at all and I try never to use Teflon just because of the chemicals. So mainly I use cast iron. I do have some stainless steel. But anyway, as um, soon as I have everything chopped up and ready to go, I'll come back and show you. Okay, so now I've got about oh six God, cups of my beet greens. And I've got 
two heaping cupfuls of broccoli. I've got eight mushrooms here that I'm going to chop up. I've got one carrot that I've already diced and I'm going to chop up the bell peppers. I've got an orange bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper and I've got four cloves of garlic that I'm going to um, just roast real quickly or fry in the oven, simmer it, um, saute it, saute it. And then I'll come back and show you or you can just keep watching. liked it. Everyone said I made it a little salty, which usually they complain because I don't add enough salt. So um, I'll post some pictures of what it looked like. And I made, made it with um, chicken stock, but you could have made it with um, a vegetable bouillon and then it would have been totally vegetarian. So um, that's just one way. I'm going to take all the um, leftover turkey bones and leftover little scraps and boil those and make my own turkey broth. Um, bone broth is always really good for you. My mom used to make all her own um, broth. So I just put everything in, the whole you know, skin and leftover little bits and pieces that were too dry from being deep fried to um, eat into the pot and then I will boil those for a couple hours and then I'll strain out all the waste and then I'll have my broth for making more soup. So that's just how you do it. You just add all your scraps and then and what we do is we just put it in after um, Christmas or Thanksgiving we just take the carcass and put it all in a garbage bag and put it in the refrigerator till the next day and then I boil the bones and the scraps to make my own bone broth. So I will show you that when I'm done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pickle my beets. And this is just refrigerator pickled beets. I'm not, um, you know, boiling my jars and putting... My grandma used to pickle everything. And she would put a wax layer on the top. This is just refrigerator pickled beets. So first I will wash out my jars, just because they're brand new and they're clean, but you know, you never know what happened to them in the factory. See that was just from um, going out today to gather some uh, rosemary and oregano to make my wreath because I'm going to miss my Christmas decorations. Okay, so now I have a small saucepan. I have one cup of red wine vinegar, one cup, of, one, one half cup of sugar, and one third cup of water. And I'm going to boil those until I've got a um, clear liquid, and then I'll come back. Okay, so now I've got my little saucepan here that I'm going to put on my burner that I've got ready. I'm going to add one cup of red wine vinegar, one half cup of sugar, and one third cup of water. And I'm going to, it's almost like making a um, simple syrup. I'm just going to add my water. And I'm essentially making kind of a simple syrup to go over it, but when I add the vinegar, it will be a sweet and sour flavor, which is going to go over the beets. So if you uh, have ever made a simple syrup, it's just, you're just cooking the liquid until it turns clear, essentially. When, it, when it's milky, it's not ready. or cloudy, if you want to say cloudy. I um, have some simple syrup right here. I'll show you. This is, um, I made this yesterday for 
Christmas um, drinks. It's, it looks a little yellow in there, but it's not really. It's just clear. That simple syrup. And I keep some on hand, but right now I'm making enough to try to cover these beets so I can pickle them. And it just takes a couple minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my vinegar because it's gone clear. When it goes to a boil, pretty much it goes clear. Okay, now I've got my red wine vinegar in there. Now it's kind of a pink color. And then I have all my beet juice right here, so if that's not enough to cover these completely, then I'll add beet juice to it. And then all you do is seal it up and put it in the fridge for like a week, uh, five to ten days, probably around seven days it's going to be ready. And you can just taste it and see. I'm going to add also some salt and some... Um, a little bit, you can add garlic, you can add onion, you can add whatever flavors you like, but I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and um, then they will be ready. It's a good thing I added that cup of beet juice because they wouldn't have been covered. I'm not going to seal the top yet because they're so warm. Let them sit like that and cool a little bit before I seal them. One last thing I wanted to do today, I wanted to take some of this dried mint and make some tea. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll move these over to the side. I'll be cool. And I'm going to make some tea. So I've got a couple of tea strainers. Let me show you. Well, I have lots of tea strainers. Um, I've got this one for loose tea leaves, and I've got this one. So it depends on what kind of a cup you have. And then I have this one, which is just for um, you know really compact leaves or spices. Sophie, don't hug the kitty. Sophie, what are you doing? So what I want to make is a mint chocolate tea. So I'm just breaking up my leaves here. These are from my garden. I grow a lot of different mints. I have a even a lemon balm, which is kind of a minty smell, min minty aroma, I should say. Oops. But I was thinking I might add some little chocolate nibs. Or I could do cocoa, if I have some cocoa. Had a cocoa bomb last night. I'll put in a little. If I have the clip, I'll put in a little clip about a cocoa bomb. Cocoa bomb is um, maybe you guys already know, but it's a chocolate um, cocoa that's covered in uh, milk chocolate. And you have, when you pour the warm milk over it, you get um, the dissolving of the outer crust, and out comes your marshmallows and your um, cocoa, and so you've got a cocoa bomb, and that was a gift from my son's girlfriend to us. So I use that much, and I'm going to see about the chocolate. I'm kind of surprised that I didn't have any cocoa, but I did have 
um, chocolate chips. So I thought I'd take about, um, let's see, that's six chocolate chips and put that on the top. And then when it melts, it should give me a little chocolate flavor. So I've heated up my water and I'm just going to pour it over this mint chocolate. And then I'm going to have a nice cup of tea. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy a cup of tea. I still have my bone broth um, boiling away on the stove. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my beets and my pickled beets and my beet leaf soup and my um, rosemary oregano wreath. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like watching these kind of cooking and craft sorts of things, then please subscribe to my channel. But I just want to say I hope you guys have a wonderful end of your December and I'm looking forward to the new year. So thanks for watching. Bye!